Heat and Lambert syndrome is very similar to myasthenia gravis where there is ocular bulbar involvement and autonomic disturbances. But here the antibody is against the voltage gated calcium channel. The antibody combines with the voltage gated calcium channel and this acetylcholine is not released to the neuromuscular junction and it cannot combine with the acetylcholine receptor and muscle contraction does not happen. The differentiating future with myasthenia gravis is it is not associated with thymic abnormalities but it is associated with malignant disease especially small lung cancer and gastrointestinal tumor. Another important differentiating future with myasthenia gravis is myasthenia gravis get worsened with activity and improve with rest. Here the reverse happen. It improves with activity and worse after inactivity. The treatment of uh, Eaton Lambert syndrome include acetylcholine esterase inhibitor and 3,4 diaminopyridine, which is a potassium channel blocker. Your preoperative evaluation and management of the disease is almost similar for myasthenia gravis. All related medications should be continued perioperatively. Now, coming to muscular dystrophy and myopathy. These are all inherited disorder that can affect the neuromuscular junction. The all mark of all this dystrophy is progressive skeletal muscle weakness that leads to respiratory failure. Your pulmonary system will be compromised. There is no effective therapy available. That is very, very important. Many individuals have associated cardiomyopathy and there is an association with malignant hyperthermia. Coming to Duchenne and Becker muscular dystrophy, they are X-link recessive disorder and occur primarily in males. They have elevated creatinine phosphokinase which precedes the onset of symptom. Male patient with the family history should be considered at risk and they require precautions which is similar to patient with diagnosed disease. So, family history patient, you should treat him like a diagnosed positive patient. And coming to the clinical future of decision muscular dystrophy, there is a prominent belly due to the weak abdominal muscle and the child is poor in getting up. There is thin weak thigh muscle especially the front part, poor balance and the child falls often and the child will be awkward and clumsy during walking. Weak muscles in the front of the leg can cause foot drop and tiptoe contracture. And there is tight yield cord, contracture like thing can happen and the child usually walks on the toe rather than on the heels. There is thick lower leg muscles that is mostly fat and not strong enough. The knees bend back to take the weight and the hip muscles are weak and the patient generally scoops forward and sway backward. The shoulders and arm or held back awkwardly when walking. It is like this. Cardiomyopathy and respiratory failure are the usual cause for death. Your cardiovascular system and the respiratory system are the most affected system. Female carriers of the abnormal gene may have dilated cardiomyopathy despite having no other manifestation of the disease. Your preoperative evaluation should focus on cardiovascular and pulmonary. Cardiovascular, you look for palpation, edema, chest pain, dyspnea, syncope, orthopnea. In pulmonary, you look for lung infection and aspiration. Do not forget the musculoskeletal system. Additional preoperative test includes electrocardiogram, PFT, and echocardiogram. PFT for pulmonary, ECG, and echocardiogram for cardiovascular system.